Okay, so welcome to our first video in our algebra series. We're going to start here with some basic algebra. This is from our CK12 Algebra 1 book, and I'm working from the review exercises here, starting on page 11. And they tell us to write a more condensed form, right? Write these in a, these expressions here in a more condensed form by leaving out the multiplication symbol. And the basic idea is, is to rewrite each of these expressions in a simpler way. So that there's less symbols needed, but we, we're rewriting them in, in equivalent forms. So we're not really changing anything, we're just changing the way they look. And I think you'll like this because this is actually a much shorter way of writing these problems. So for the first one, it's 2 times 11x. Well here, when you see 11x, that 11 is called the coefficient and the x is called the variable. So here, this is the coefficient, and the variable is this x right here. And when you see them paired up like that, this means 11 groups of x, or it already means 11x. So you can see that there's no symbol between them, and, and when you have a number next to a variable, that means to multiply. So then I can rewrite this whole thing as, well, 2 times 11x, so it's like saying 2 groups of 11x or 22 groups of x. And I can rewrite it that way. And all I did there was really multiply this coefficient by the number 2 and doubled it. So we went from 11 groups of x to 22x and there's no multiplication symbol needed. And the next one is 1.35 times y. Well there we can just rewrite this as 1.35 groups of y. So again there we have the coefficient and the variable right next to each other, which means to multiply. In the next one, 3 times a fourth, well that means 3 groups of 1 fourth, or 3 fourths. And this leads us to our last problem in this section, which is just 1 fourth times z. Here I, I think that we could write this as z over 4, or 1 fourth z. And the idea being here that I'm, I'm, I'm multiplying z by 1, and that's just z, because anything times 1 is it's itself. And that over 4 is the same thing as 1 fourth times z. And if you can't see why, pretend that, that z equals 16. Well, in this case, it's 16 divided by 4, and that's 4. And in this case, we're taking 1 fourth of 16, which is still just 4. But if I had to choose a form for this one, I would pick z over 4. All right. Hope